Hi, in this video I will show you how to install a billing software in Windows 7 computer. This machine is with Windows 7 32 bit. You can check your Windows which version of Windows you are using and which version of uh, bit it is in uh, bit operating system it is included in that that you can find under my computer properties just open the computer and where you can just within the computer you can just right click and you can find the properties just click on the properties it will show you one window where you can find which operating system which version of operating system you are using windows 7 32 and also it mentioned the 32 bit or 64 bit so in this pc this is a 32 bit operating system so we are installing only the 32 bit crystal reports and also we have to install the sql express for the 32 bit so please find the installation file in the descriptions so we are showing you how to install sql express sql express is the sql server software so i just clicked on that file and started the installation process so first of all it will take little time for extracting the files which is in included in that so it's, uh, it's loading SQL which is used for storing our information in the databases so that is the reason SQL server we are using SQL the database is in SQL and you will be getting a window after some time like this and you have to click on the new installation now once you finish uh, it will take around 1 minute or so 30 second to 1 minute to get uh, the next options so just wait for some time depends on your computer it will take little more time than usual uh, if your pc is a bit slow then it might uh, take around two or three minutes yeah the next window is coming up now right in this so we have to click on the accept button then just select next so this window will be getting immediately and just wait it's coming the next option will comes right this is the feature selections which all the features you want it you can just select it by all the options by default it will be selected so you need to just click on the next button that's it you don't want to do anything over here if it is not selected you have to make sure that it's selected all the options and here also you can just go ahead with the next button if the name instance is sql express you can just click on the next or else you can also use default instance as well if you if in your uh, if any sql server is already installed uh, that will be sure the yeah in this window you can just find uh, an option sql server browser that will be dis disabled so you have to make it automatic after making it automatic then only you have to start the next uh, you have to click on the next button so in this window we will be having an options the next only windows authentications be required so make sure that it is checked now again that window you have to click on the next right now the complete installation process is started before that we are preparing the steps for the installations now the uh, preparation is over so the installation process is started so it will do all the process by automatic you have to wait for some time depends on your machine as i said you earlier depends on your machine speed computer or laptop speed it may take uh, different timings so usually it will happen around 5 to 10 minutes so finished and next time just going to install the crystal report for the 32 bit just click on the next button after clicking on the accept button again next see previously the sql express is finished uh, like this so uh, after finishing this sql express installations you have to start the crystal reports so i just skipped uh, the 
SQL Express installations finishing sections and all because there is nothing to do with that so you have to just click on the next button that's it so the SAP crystal report is uh, installation is going on so it may take around uh, this one process also will take around 5 to 10 minutes so some of the sections I will just uh, cut already stop the recording for some time so because uh, there is no meaning in recording this scroll bar for a 10 minutes or 5 minutes so like this the process will continue we don't want to do anything till finish the process by automatically finally you'll be getting options like this you have just click on the finish button that's it so you have seen that how to install the crystal report 32 bit and also you have seen the first four sections you have seen this sql SQL Server installation for the 32-bit and now you just uh, open your software file and just send a shortcut to desktop then you can just click on that file the software icon and just try to open it maybe the first time if you click to open them then it will take uh, it will not get any response so again you have to click on one or two times then it will open it so after that you will be get a form in that form you have to fill up your fill address details and all this information about your company and all so after finishing that you will be getting a license key options when you where you need to enter the license key that license key will provide our technical team you have to just whatsapp to us so we will provide you the license key for based on the different softwares so after entering it you will have to open the software file again see you will be getting a sql server settings so we have to connect the software to the databases so just click on the search server link link then it will automatically find your databases sql database uh, sql server so it's found uh, now you can have the two options blank and demo accounts you can just select blank account for the fresh and empty accounts there will not be any data and if you want to test it you have you can just click on the demo also so it will be there there will be some demo data and all you can test the software very immediately so that's it that is the process for installing the software for all the software this is i'm just showing the pharma software how to install the same way all the software will be same process only you have to do just uh, installation for the sql server and sap crystal report after finishing it you have to open the software file and the finally you will be getting this uh, the next second stage for the activations you have to enter the activation code so that you have to submit a hardware id which you are getting on your pc that hardware id you can forward to us by whatsapp so our technical team provide you the activation code to you for free and you can start using it and if you want the technical support generally you need to pay for us thank you for watching have a nice day